Productions. I am back with you in Presona Studio 1.4, back with another tutorial. This tutorial is about EQing and compression, okay? Another updated version of EQ and compression. And I'm just going to show you the ways that I do it on my vocals or anything that I go to mix, the way that I try to accomplish my EQing and compression, okay? Simple, easy, to the point. If you're new to the channel, you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post something. Also, thumbs up, comments. Always help your boy out. So, without further ado, you see my son in the back. He over there back smiling. Uh, some, sometimes it might include my, my children in there. I'm off for a whole month. They're going to be rocking with me. So, they might be in the background. They might be making noises. But that don't stop me from giving you knowledge. So, it has been stopping me. That's why I haven't been consistent. But right now, I just want to let y'all know, if my kids have to be involved, they have to be involved because that stops me from giving you content. All right? So let's get into it. Uh, I'm just going to go over the EQs that I do and not mess with any other ones. We're going to just show you the EQs and why I do these, why I do the EQs I do, okay? That's the EQ and then the compression. So basically, we're going to pull them up. And we gonna uh, uh, just start from scratch to EQ them. You know, so like I told you, we're gonna do EQ and compression. So let's do it. All right. So we're gonna go to the first one here. We'll pull the first one up, second one up, and we're just gonna use these EQ. I got multiple EQs on it, as you know. You know my tutorials. I use multiple EQs, and uh, let's 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 achieve these by doing uh. The hook, all right? I don't know what to call it by me. Uh, let's put this back on default. I should have had all this set up before, but that's all right. We'll do a full reset. All right, let's get into it. We'll solo it out, and then we'll turn it on after I bring it to the hook part. How about that? Would that work? Nigga keep hating on me. Very explicit. What you doing back there, sleep? Nigga keep hating on me. I don't know what to call it. Nigga keep lying on me. I don't know what to call it. Nigga keep dying on me. I don't know what to call it. Nigga, I be in. But I'm a call it. Nigga keep hating on me. I don't know what. Nigga keep lying on me. I don't know what to call it. Nigga keep dying on me. I don't know what to call it. Give me that clock. Bow, bow. Let me get it started. Nigga keep hating on me. I don't know what to call it. Nigga keep lying on me. I don't know what. So we'll take that out. And that's all I'm going to do here. I'm subtracted EQing right now. Real quick. Nothing too major. Okay. Trying to make this tutorial as quick as possible. Just to show y'all EQing. How easy it is. I don't like I don't that. know what to call it. Nigga keep dying on me. I don't know what to call it. Nigga, I be in your... I don't know what to call it. Nigga keep we'll dying on me. I don't know what to call it. Give me that clock. Bow, bow. Let me get it started. Nigga keep... That noise right there might give me some problems later on in the mix, but I'm going to leave it alone. So, I don't know what all that area looking good uh, right there, so we're going to jump off that EQ, and we're going to leave that EQ alone. So after I retract, I'm going to add, okay? I'm going to do some adding on EQ. Nigga so keep hating on me. I don't know what to call it. Nigga keep lying I'm not, I'm on me. Put that on I don't know what to call it. I'm going to put that on 48 since I already did it. I already took what some to out. It. And what Nigga I'm going to do be... is we'll take less out of here. Nigga keep... We won't take all the low end out, but we're going to find a good low end spot. And I do stuff like this. I might add the cue, not too major. I just want some of my low end back in. Nigga keep hating on me. I don't know what to call it. Nigga keep lying on me.
me. I, I hear real clear right there. I hear I hear myself clear. And that's what we're looking for when we add something in there, okay? Y'all want to hear the clear inside your vocals. You sweep that and find the best frequency to add. Nigga right? keep hating on me. I don't know what to call it. Nigga keep lying on me. I don't know now. what to call it. Nigga really keep matter. lying on me. It's a taste. I hear myself what clear right there, so we'll dip that down. Bring that up by right, by right there. Nigga keep hating on me. I don't know what to call it. Nigga clarity. keep lying on me. I don't right know down. what to call it. Nigga keep dying on me. I don't know what to call it. Nigga. Okay. Just those two. You can start hearing the clean come inside the vocals. And I do this pretty much with anything, with the beat or anything I'm trying to clean up. I'm I'm attacking my attacking my EQs this way, okay? And then so it don't matter. You notice how that do, okay, let me dip that down 3B. Oh, well, let me dip that down 4GB. You dip it down to where it sounds good and move on. You notice how I didn't do that. It's just whatever sounds good, what's taken out and what's adding, all right? This the only one I did because I don't want to add too much. So I'm a 2 dB is good for that mid-range for me to add, all right? But the rest is what sounds good and move on with your ears. So that's my EQing right there. And I'm going to leave that alone. So we'll bypass both of them again and then we'll let you hear it going on. Nigga keep hating on bypass. me. I don't know what to call it. Nigga keep lying on me. All right, we're going to bypass it. Nigga keep hating on me. I don't know what to call it. Nigga keep lying on me. All right, and then after that EQ, just with those two EQs, like I said, use multiple. And then we're going to come back with the compressor, and this is what a compressor does. I'm only using these compressors because this is what I use. So if you bought a template from me, you'll see these, you'll see these EQs and this compressor and the everything that I have going on, all right? You won't see, you know, stop, because I try to use multiple plugins, all right? So, I'm just showing you the ones I use. Nigga keep hating on me. I don't know what to call it. I like to turn it down. Nigga keep hating on me. I don't know what to call it. Nigga keep lying on me. Nigga keep hating on me. I don't know what to call it. And then by this time, I unsolo and bring the beat back in. Let's keep it fair. By using this, you can use your eyes with this because you're not trying to get a negative 20 dB reduction. So I'm just being honest and being fair. Yes, I use the eyes when it comes to this, but I'm also using my ears because I want to hear how much it's taking out of my vocals. If it's squashing it, I don't want that, okay? I want, I want that dynamic to make it past that threshold a little bit, but I don't want it to be too peaking you know where i get clips and pops and all that other stuff going on so i still listen to it because he's gonna tell you the truth about your ears i, I mean about your music and i like to get a negative seven negative five depending on the song which this song is real dynamic we up there we all over the place and then uh, compressing that way is everything leveled up. And I bring the game now back up to where it was supposed to be. Not adding, I'm not pushing it to where they can keep hating on me. I sound all like that. I'm just adding the gang back to where it took out. So I'm just putting it back to where it was. And then the final compressor, which I got multiple compressors too. We just talk about the first EQs and compressors. I add, you know, the DB back to some of that gang back into it. All right. But this one. Nigga keep on me. I don't know what to call it. Nigga keep lying on me. I don't know what to call it. Nigga keep lying on me. And that's pretty much it. EQing and compressing. Simple ways of to go about it. Don't overthink it. Don't overdo it, obviously. 
and uh, just go about EQ and the compressor. It don't matter what EQ you have, what compressor you have, or anything. Just use an EQ, a stock EQ. It don't matter. What I'm here to tell you is, you just seen me accomplish EQ and the compressor just that quick, and I move on with the chain. Now, if your recording is so bad and you're trying to do too much fixing with these EQ and compression and stuff, well, go back and record re-record it because this is all you need to do when it comes down to EQing and compressing vocals. So I hope this tutorial helped you. This is all I have with it. Nothing too major. I'm not making it complex. Doublekbeats.com. Find the templates. Find the mixing prices, beats, music, and all that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Till next time, my son says, peace up. Out.